Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna do one of my least favorite things to do, honestly. <laughs> but I love the results, and that is putting together one of our gardenery trellises. So today we're gonna put together an obelisk trellis, which is so awesome for growing all the vining things in your raised beds. I have two obelisk trellises behind me. I'm about to add like four more, but this is a totally different design, and I think you're gonna love it. So let's get started. All right, I first have to give a shout out to my mom who unpacked all this for me and even handed me the directions because she knows I don't follow directions, kinda. Um, so we're gonna get started at the top. This is a really lovely trellis. It um, would be great in uh, like if you're looking for a garden style that's a little bit more say European. Um, this is gonna have a little bit more design flair to it than, um, than some of our other trellises that are a little bit more modern. So we're gonna start with this little finial here and pull this, will just kind of start the structure of the trellis. Now I don't tighten anything too tight at the beginning because I like to be able to adjust, especially this one, cause it's gonna have hoops on it. And uh, I just always like to be able to change and adjust. So I don't super tighten it, but just get it going to give me a little base of structure. So at that point you can kind of tell if it's balanced out, I try to spread it out to make sure it can stand on its own. You can already start to see a little bit of the structure of this trellis. Now that's the top piece. Let me show you what else came in the package. So we have these longer poles. This is what's gonna give the trellis its height. There are four of these. And then there are four hoops. This is what's gonna go up the trellis to give it its nice round shape. And you can see this is a great width for a trellis. So I love having trellises that are about 12 inches in diameter. That's fantastic for a kitchen garden. You can plant at least four vining plants around the edges and each of those plants will be a good, say six to 12 inches away from each other. So it's awesome. I don't plant things in the center because they're gonna get shaded, but I plant them around the exterior. And then we have these really cool curved pieces. These are the pieces that add a little bit of flair and design to the trellis and also more vining structure, which you want for uh, the things we're gonna be growing up the trellis this year. So let me check out the directions. Step one I've already done, which is to put these two things together. So step two is we're gonna put the upper main frame pieces together. Um, yeah, oh, I already did that, awesome. All right, so now we're gonna slide this down like this and we're gonna start to put these poles into these sections. So these come with a wider piece here that slide in. And what's really important is you wanna make sure that the little um, thingamabobs, the little rings that hold the um, bolts, I guess, that they're going in the same direction. So you can see I turn them like that and they're going the same direction that way. And then what we'll do is we'll use these hoops to, um, to connect them. Now I've learned from the past, other trellises I put together, it's actually very smart to go ahead and slide on the first hoop before you do, any, do the next level. So I learned this from the other trellises over there that um, putting this first hoop on is actually very helpful. I don't think they have that in the directions but you know, experience pays off for some things. So here you're just gonna take the bolt, I think that's called a bolt. One of these days I'm gonna learn what all these um, things are called, nuts and bolts. But I go ahead, again, I don't tighten them all the way in, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my, um, my hoops on. Is that right? I just wanna make sure that the side pieces um, I don't know if I need the side pieces in here, but what this will help me do is get nice width um, and make sure the, they're spread out to the right width before I get going. I may have to undo these. I may be getting ahead of myself because I may have to undo these when I put on the curved pieces. We shall see my friends. Uh, I could probably count the bolts. Let's see. From above, place all four rings over the outside and lower the rings to the ground. Align the four holes in the ring with the four holes in the tab. All right, so when do we put in, yeah, it looks like the curved pieces are gonna have to get bolted on. 
So I'm not gonna do any more then I'll pause right here. It looks like you're gonna have to, um, it's one of those things where you almost need a partner to help you hold stuff together. All right, I move, I lost my mic here. Hold on one sec. Okay, so we're gonna slide these in to the bottom, making sure that they're going the right direction. That's a super important piece of the puzzle. So the ones with the two, the two things, those go in up top. And the ones with just one, they go down on the bottom. I like doing this down on the ground rather than standing up. And generally, if you have a flat space, that's awesome too. And you know, you could even do this indoors, although you just wanna be sure you're protecting your floor. So if you've got like a wood floor or something, you don't wanna do this indoors. But if you had like a tile floor, it'd be ideal. All right, so I've slid all these in. Now I'm going to slide the hoops up. So at least I have the hoop in place, even though I paused bolting it. So we're gonna slide these in and go all the way up. We've got four hoops. So this one goes here. What I found too is that the hoops hold, you know how these slide in together? The hoops actually help hold them in. So I'll put the last two on. All right. If you guys have kids at home this summer, this is a great thing to make your kids help you with give them something to do. All right, let's see here. Did I do this right? I think so. Starting from an empty hole in the top ring, place a bolt through one end of the curved stripped strip, then through the ring and bracket, then fasten it with a nut on the inside. Oh my, this sounds complicated. So it looks like what we're going to do is it's gonna go like this, I think that's right. And then it's gonna go down to the curve. So I'm gonna undo this bolt, or maybe I'll do it with one that's not bolted yet. So this is gonna be interesting to see if I can get this as one person. I may have to get my mom to help me. She's right over here. She's saying no, yes, no. Okay, so we put this in like so, and using, you wanna use gravity to help you kind of pull these together. My team, I'll never forget Monica on my Root of Garden team, she put this um, trellis into a garden and I was on a consult and she texted me, she said that trellis was a little interesting to put together. All right, so I think we did that right. Now, what happens if I'm understanding is down here, it's going to go into this hole right here. And it's going to give this cool look. Do you think that's right? Or maybe it goes on the lower one. What do you think? Let's see what it, let's look at the directions. That's a novel idea. Okay, it says lower ring, securing it. Repeat for the lower end of the same curved strip, securing it onto the lower ring. Add the other curved strip for the top assembly. When you attach the two curved strips for the lower assembly, make sure they line up with the upper strips to give the appearance of a continuous curve from the top to the bottom. All right, so that tells me this is gonna attach here because if it's going to go, if I'm gonna have one more strip, then it's gonna pick up on the next one. That's my detective work here. All right, so like I said, you have to kind of grab it. I'm hoping that this, uh-oh. Do y'all remember with the last trellis how I, um, <laughs> how I lost a bolt? I never found it. I like came out here. I don't have a metal detector. All right, my mom's here to help now. She's, she couldn't help herself. All right, that looks about, does that look right? I don't think it would fit wider, right? Oh no, okay. This is a good reason to do it indoors. One, less sweat. Two, you won't risk losing it, y'all. Okay, here we go. So let's 
So we're going to have this continuous curve look is our goal. All right, there we go. And see, the nice thing is, like in a typical trellis, you're not going to have something to support the plants in between these two lines. Um, but in this one, you will. All right, so next up, we pull this next uh, hoop up and so my one wonder is if I was supposed to tuck that in the back. I think that's probably what I was supposed to do, wasn't I? I think they're on the outside. Oh, they're on the outside? Because this one I put on the inside. Let's see. Okay, my mom's here to help now. I guess I should have read the directions before I got started. All right, we will do, what we're gonna do is, I think if this went on the inside, it would be a little bit more concealed. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments if you think I'm doing this right. I think it should go on the inside. I think it'll look better that way. That's my opinion. So what are these things called bolts? The bolts are just long enough to go through three layers which is pretty impressive. Yeah, I think as long as your rings are on the outside, you can put those curved pieces. Yeah, I think we want to put the curved pieces. I'm going to put this one in the middle. I think that's probably where I should have put the first one. All right, y'all, this is starting to make sense. Really, it really is. All right, so now we're going to start the next piece. Oh, I'm going to attach this final one here, and then we'll be ready. There's only... There's only three curved pieces. Should we take comfort in that? I guess so. Or four, there's four curved pieces. So you only have to do this twice. So undoing the bolt, and now we're gonna wrap this around. And I think by the time you get to the end, you have, um, you've touched all four holes with the curved piece, which is kind of cool. All right, y'all, where did I put that? Oh, there it is. All right, so I'm trying to work with gravity here. Oh, that's so much easier. So what I did is I put the curved piece on the, on the inside, um, like a sandwich, which I think that's the way you're supposed to do it, much easier. All right, so, we did it. We did one whole curved piece, which is really starting to give structure to this trellis, which I love. It's so pretty. So now we're going to try to figure out where to put this next set. So I'm guessing it's probably going to be, I would guess that it's directly across. So maybe here, straight across and should be curving the same direction. So, okay. See my mom's helping. Okay. So if we go this, basically you can kind of tell by what, how it will wrap, right? So if it were here, that's not gonna be right. Maybe this is the wrong piece. This one's like this, so if I just roll it here, then I think it would be right here. And it would go like that. Correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah, all right, so Gonna undo the bolt that I thought I was so smart to put in early and slide this in. So I'm gonna sandwich this in right here. Hopefully this, um, this will save you the minutes of headache trying to figure it out, right? You can just watch me have a headache. And then you won't have to have one. All right, so the same thing. Then I'm gonna roll it to use the gravity to help push it in. Just bolt it in. I think the hardest part is getting that first one on. And as you can see, these kind of come undone. Oh no, y'all. <laughs> uh, this one I put on the wrong way with the, um, I think the thing's going the wrong way. Yeah, all right, so that's the right way. This is the right direction, but I twisted this unknowingly. Okay, that's going the right direction. If these are going this way, 
Yeah. All right. So real quick, just going to twist this around. It's okay if you have to undo stuff, right? Better now than later. So that needs to go that direction. You need all the little um, flag things basically to be pointing in the same direction. Yep, now it's fixed. See, that didn't take any time to fix. No problemo. All right, we got to slide this one in. And let's make sure I did these correctly. Uh, this one's going that direction. Okay. Yeah, those are all right. Okay, good. So we're gonna turn this. I need to twist a little bit. I think I'm doing this right for some reason. Okay, so we start here. Now we're gonna see if I can, hmm, nope. <laughs> okay, I know it's wrong. This is on the wrong pole. This pole needs to slide over. It's too tight. So I think it's a two person job. Um, all right, so this goes, <laughs> this is gonna be the longest video ever. Okay, this goes there and yeah, all right. Do you like this trellis? Is this worth it? I don't know. All right, I think you can go ahead and I'm gonna give this one up for a sec. I think this, you wanna help? I think this might need to go in this one. Tell me what you think. Do you think that's right? Mom to the rescue, you guys. Yeah, there you go. You think that's where it goes? I don't know, we'll see. Okay. This is what happens when, this is very much of a first time. Definitely. It's not like we put 10 together and then zip, 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 you know. All right, so time. the question is, so if this goes here, does that look right? I think you almost need, yeah, I think that's right. Yes? Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna put this piece in here then. You almost need two people to see the shape of it. So we're gonna go here and here. Does that seem correct? Yep. That feels right. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what I did wrong below there. Did I attach it too soon? I don't know. Okay. All right, so there's that. Now we'll continue this here, right? So that it looks like a continuous circle. All right, we're getting it guys. We're doing the hard work for you. This is real life, it's not like. That's right, mom says real life. She knows. Most directions. They make it seem so easy and, and straightforward. It, it takes like four times as long. So Definitely. This is the real thing. Definitely. This is um, buyer beware, right? <laughs> yeah, but it's so beautiful later. It's, it's uh, well worth the effort. It is worth it. But I do remember Monica, she sent me a text. She said that trellis was not easy to understand. And now I understand. Mm -hmm. I wasn't there. I was at a consult, so I didn't have to do it. But this is coming together. It is really pretty. Mm -hmm. And I do, like I said, a lot of obelisk trellises don't have extra supports inside of them. So you end up having to twine a lot more than you will for this one. I'm getting um, black fingers instead of a green finger, green thumb. That's a gardenery gardener gets black. Not because of the dead plants, but because of the trellises. All right, this is taking shape now. Do you guys see the shape? Oh, it's so pretty. Just had a few moments of confusion there. Just a few. Thankfully, my mom was here. That's what moms are for. Person. Two persons. So get your spouse, kid, neighbor, 
brand, somebody. Anybody who wants to eat from the garden with you, I don't know. Pay pay them with pay them with cucumbers. Whatever you need to do. Now I do want to warn you, when you rub this metal together, it can mark it up. So when you're adjusting, that's another reason to have someone help you because you can end up scratching. A little spray paint will take care of that. Yeah. All right, we're almost to the home stretch, guys. So I've got all the top pieces um, bolted together, almost. And this is when you just kind of get to the finishing touches. You can feel the end getting here. Now this comes in a flat box. The shipping is better for this trellis than for the obelisk where it's a lot heavier. So the shipping is more. This one um, comes in a flat box. All the pieces are wrapped in a little bit of cardboard or in a little bit of like saran to protect the metal comes with directions, the bolts, you don't need any tools. Um, it comes with a little tightener thing. And uh, the finial, every part that you need is right in there. So it's pretty nice if you don't, if you're like me and you don't have a lot of tools, you don't need any really for this. All right, I think we have three more bolts and then we're ready for the big reveal if I don't lose it in the grass beforehand. All right, so scratch what I said about um, bolting them together, bolting the loop on at the beginning. Don't do that because you're going to need to, um, well, actually you could do that for two of them because you can see the little circular thing that only was necessary for two, two of the holes at the top. The other two don't have anything. All right, we're almost there, guys in the home stretch. So what did this take? 30 minutes? 20? 22. 22, says Eric, my great camera guy. So um, he's always excited when I tell him we're going to put together a trellis. He knows that I don't read the directions. All right, I got one, um, one bolt to put on at the top here. And then you're going to get to see it. Ready? Here we go, y'all. Ta-da! This is the fabulous, oh no y'all. I am determined to lose. Kind of behind. Come back towards me. Did you see it fall? Oh, there it is. All right, I'm really determined to lose these um, nuts, bolts, nuts, whatever they're called. They do come in several, several sizes. Yeah, so you can get this one in a lot of different sizes, my mom's reminding me. Um, I think there's like a small, medium, large. Um, if you're growing vining plants, I highly recommend getting one that's at least six feet tall because things like tomatoes, cucumbers, pole beans, they're at least going to get that tall um, in a season. If you're using them for supports for like peppers or eggplants, you could get one that's more like four or five. I don't know why, but I can't get this threaded on here. All right, my friends, that is the completion of our gorgeous obelisk trellis. You can see how well it goes together and these little beautiful round things are so great to add extra support to your plants and help your vines connect to the trellis as they grow. It comes with this nifty little wrench type thing that you can use to tighten it up. And this little girl is ready for the kitchen garden. So if you watch this whole video to the end, you are amazing and clearly you need this trellis in your life. So you can check out this trellis and a lot of others. We've had so many sell out this season, um, but I think this one might still be available. Check it out at gardenary.com and there's um, a little shop button at the top. So, or it's shop.gardenary.com, something like that. Go to gardenary.com or click the link below this video and you can find our trellises. Either way, I hope this inspires you to grow your own up a trellis this season. Um, super fun, and these are great architectural items to add to your kitchen garden. They look beautiful in the winter covered with snow, and they look beautiful in the summer covered with tomatoes. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.